Hello guys, my name is Cassie and this is my first English speaking video. Honestly, I'm really nervous right now because actually I'm a German YouTuber. I do YouTube for almost four years full time now and making YouTube videos and DIY content is my biggest passion in life and just love it. I'm obsessed with it. And so I thought maybe there are many more people out there besides my Kali crew, my community in Germany that enjoy DIYs and to be creative. So yeah, that's why I started this channel here and I'm really excited for this journey. And I really, really hope you get along with my English because usually I only speak German, maybe like twice a year I face my host family in the US and that's when I speak English but yeah that's a whole nother story so you can leave some questions for me in the comments down below because the next video I want to upload is a little Q&A get to know me so I can show you my dog my cutie booty <laughs> and also my boyfriend where I live and all that good stuff so yeah I'm excited for your questions and now let's hop into the video I hope you enjoy and let's go hey you don't forget to subscribe all right, let's do it. First of all, I'm gonna pin my hair back because it's freaking hot right now in Germany. And also I'm not at my own place. I'm at my sister's flat because I took care of her cat while she was on holiday. Let me know in the comments if you're team cat or team dog. I would say I prefer dogs because I own one, but of course we love all kinds of animals. Oh, and one more thing before we start. This is my sister's hallway. It's more like a gallery with all those texture DIY pictures in there it's insane she all did them by herself and I think she should do one of these videos I would watch them right away but now yeah let's start with mine <laughs> For the first picture, you need a Canva. The size doesn't really matter. I chose a really small one because I had to carry them all home with me again by train to my own flat. So I thought, yeah, a small one is much more practical. And then you're gonna mix up a background color. I chose purple and then I mix it up with some white. So I get this really nice pastel looking purple. <laughs> and one thing you have to know about me, I'm obsessed with pastels. Like it doesn't even matter what kind of color. As long as it's pastel, I'm gonna buy the product. I'm gonna paint my nails this color. I just love it as you can tell. <laughs> Three, two, one, ta-da! This is my new background color. And from here on, once it's dried, you can move on to the next step. And we're gonna paint some clouds. And they are so easy to paint. I'm gonna show you step by step and then you can go ahead and paint your own beautiful clouds. First of all, you're gonna need a background color for the cloud. It's uh, the best if you take the same background color as you use on the canva, just in a darker shade. Then you're gonna move on to white and paint the top of the cloud with like a lot of white so you cannot see the purple beneath it anymore or the darker shade beneath it. And then you're gonna take some toilet paper or tissue and you're gonna wipe your brush off so there's no more paint on it. And then you're gonna use it to mix up the white and the purple but you're not gonna touch the white at the very top of the clouds. And also you shouldn't cover the very bottom of the cloud, so you should still be able to see the darkest shade. Then grab some more white to give the cloud some more dimension and some more volume. Wipe off the paintbrush again and repeat the, blend the blending process. And this is basically it. It's only a few steps and then you have your perfectly drawn, super easy clouds. So just keep on repeating until you have the number of clouds that you would like to have on your canva. Of course, there are several different kinds of shapes of clouds, but I like to draw mine like this. So it's like more bubbly at the top and then more straight but wiggly at the bottom. But of course, you can go ahead and paint them differently. I would just suggest to overlap them a little bit. So it's more like them touching at the edges rather than um, separate clouds all over the place. You know, it's more like one big picture then. I think this makes it more realistic and this is how my picture looks so far but we're not done yet. We're gonna grab some white acrylic paint and a paintbrush that looks like this with some stiff bristles so we can dip it in the paint and then use our thumb to yeah, sprinkle the color onto the canva. Actually, I learned this trick in kindergarten, but I still use it to this day to imitate some stars and yeah, to make some effects on the sky. I love it. I do it all the time and also I added some little stars by hand with a um, smaller detail brush and a rainbow. And this is the final result. I absolutely love it. I think it's so adorable and so aesthetically pleasing. I'm for sure gonna hang this up in my room. And I also hope that you're gonna try it. If so, you can send me pictures or tag me in your Instagram stories so I can see them. I would love to. So 
Moving on to the next picture, this is my inspo for it. It's actually a disco ball at my sister's living room and when the sun hits it, it sparkles everywhere. It's so pretty, so I thought, well, I'm just gonna draw my own one. <laughs> yes, this is me thinking about buying a pizza plate because I couldn't find a round canva anywhere. It was ridiculous. I searched for so long and then I found this. This is a plate for cakes, actually, but it was only one euro, so I thought, yes, I'm just gonna give it a try. You know, sometimes you just have to think outside the box to get creative and also to get started. And the first thing we're gonna do after we got our Canva is print out some examples of disco balls because it's much more easier to draw the whole thing when you can look at the examples because it's probably not the main thing you usually paint. So yeah, it's good to have something to look at while doing it. And then we're gonna start with the background color but I have to admit I watched a tutorial before this so I know what I'm doing and the girl suggested to fill up the whole background with colors so you cannot see the background color which is white. In my case though I have to say I don't think this step is really necessary because I put on so much paint in the next few steps that you're gonna see that I wasn't actually able to see the background color anyways so yeah you can probably skip this part if you want to. Moving on, we need three kinds of brushes, two of them being like flat and square and the other one being a really tiny thin one like this that I use right now. Choose a color that you can see really well on those colors below if you choose to do put them on and then start painting on these rows for the tiles. As you can see, my rows are further apart in the middle, so they're bigger. And then at the top and the very bottom of the disco ball, I put them closer to each other so they get smaller. I think this gives the ball more of a 3D effect. And then I started painting on the tiles, but I stopped doing this really quickly again because it gets boring so fast. And I thought maybe I'm just gonna smash on the color and just go with the flow. And then I would build up the tiles while just doing it so you don't have to draw on every single tile I really suggest doing the rows so you know like the base of it and then just keep on adding the paint as you go just yeah enjoy the process This is me in real time. So this is how fast or how slow I paint the picture in reality. And the clips you saw before were like the speed sped up by 20 times. So it's a perfect time lapse and also a perfect picture to draw when you're bored because yeah, as I said, it takes so much time, but it's also so much fun and you can take breaks for sure. So you don't have to do it from start to finish all at once. Maybe you cannot see the pictures anymore or the, uh, the colors, I mean. So then take a break, come back later and keep on painting. So you don't have to, yeah, do it all at once. And then once this is dried, you can take the thin brush again that you used earlier and then you can put on the rose again. Here you can also see why I don't think the first step with painting the background was really necessary because in my case you just couldn't see the colors anymore. But yeah, this is why I did this step again. So I, po uh, I painted on the rose again but a different color so it's like more shimmery and more colors and looks more realistic. And then I also put on some little sparkles as I do in almost all of my pictures because I'm just obsessed with little dots and sparkles. I love it. It's these little details for me that make it perfect, you know, it's like the the cherry on the cake, it's like the perfect ending. But you can skip this part if you want to. But this is how my tart plate turned out to be. It's amazing. Honestly, in the beginning, I was really skeptical if this would work out on a tart plate. But look at this. It's so cute. I think it really looks like a disco ball. And it's such a fun project. So I really hope I inspired you a little bit with this. And you go ahead and try this yourself so you can have a little dance party in your room at home like me. <laughs> that I keep in First of all, I went to the dollar store again. It's like my second home. I go there all the time to grab some craft supplies and also Canva. You can also use regular paper, but I just feel more artsy when I have a Canva. <laughs> This 
by the way is my third and last picture I'm gonna show you today but let me know in the comments down below or with a thumbs up that you like this video so I know that I should maybe do more of them but now let's start first of all we're gonna mix our background color I chose this really bright and pretty pink and then of course I added some white to it and after mixing both of them up I got this really nice pastel color by the way here you can see my timer this is actually my third timer I published three of them over the last three years and it's perfect if you're in school or in uni just to organize your day and your chores and to-dos so if you're a German follower you can click the link in the description box it's on Amazon for example but who knows maybe in the future someday I'm gonna have my own English speaking timer that's not how you say it but you know what I mean and if it's one thing I learned over the last few years dream big and if you work hard for it you will reach that goal no matter how crazy it sounds to you right now all right enough rambling let's get back to the picture and on with the tutorial so we're gonna draw some hearts here but they're not like just regular hearts it's more like um, a graffiti style and you get that by adding a little squiggly line under each heart also you can put one on the side of the heart and you can add some little dots beneath it so it should look like there's a lot of paint on the heart and it's dripping down the picture I promise you it's so simple to draw and also perfect for when you just want to relax and have a good time yeah enjoy yourself but not really want to think about what you're doing too much and also it puts me in a really good mood because of all these bright colors but we have to add one more thing before it's finished for this final step you gotta think of a quote that's short and also related to love so it matches the picture you can for example choose love always wins love is the answer love you to the moon in the back or love is in the air okay I'm gonna stop here <laughs> for this you can either use acrylic paint with a small thin brush or just grab a regular black permanent marker and put the letters on and also I put each word into one row beneath each other and that's the result there's only one thing I would like to change about this picture and it's a blue heart behind wins because you can not really see the difference between blue and black so keep this in mind maybe put the dark colors on the side of the picture but yeah that's it and I think it's so pretty and also a perfect gift for example for Mother's Day or for Valentine's Day so keep this in mind All of you guys that are still watching, leave this emoji in the comments so I know that you stay till the end. I really appreciate it. And also, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna probably cringe <laughs> while watching this because of me speaking in English. Because of me speaking in because of me speaking in English. As you can tell, it's a real challenge for me, but I love challenges. And I'm just really curious where this is gonna go. So yeah, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my next videos. We will see us there and then enjoy your day. And yeah, take care. Love you. <laughs>